Hey guys, Spartan117GW, and today we're going to talk about a few different things. Uh, starting off with this main question for this video. Does recording airsoft gameplay take away from some of the fun sometimes? Now, it's kind of a complicated answer, but I think that in a way it does. Now, kind of going over my history, I've been doing YouTube and airsoft videos and stuff since like 2006. Um, I have a little bit of a background in film school. Uh, I did it for about a year before I got out and joined the army. Um, so uh, for me, YouTube is isn't just for fun, but it, well, I mean, it is a lot for fun. But it's kind of an expression of art form stuff because every now and then you'll see me pop some like cinematic stuff out every now and then. Um, but yeah, I started using uh, like Tachyon and GoPro and Contour, and I've used all kinds of stuff to record my gameplay. Um, and you know, when you first get it, it's cool new whiz bang thing. When I first started doing it, it was like POV footage was like the, the hottest, newest thing. Nowadays, it's kind of been, not say overused, but everyone does it. So it's not as special and unique as it used to be. Um, it's not this new groundbreaking thing. Although I do have something up and coming that's gonna be pretty dope. But a lot of YouTubers uh, can attest to, and I think it was part of why, like, Charlie from Level Cap, um, uh, doesn't necessarily do airsoft videos anymore, is because there's a lot of time investment, um, to doing it, um, and, you know, for him, return of investment, uh, wasn't quite the same as with gaming, um, and, you know, for us, a lot of the fun is dictated by, um, you know, the footage that you get. If you do YouTube, it's it's kind of inevitable. It's like if you're kind of like a director, it's all you always got to get the shot right. Um, you know, anytime you make any kind of video content, it's always about the shot or the moment or this, that, and the other. Um, so I think the problem is, uh, and if you are trying not to get burned out, um, is trying to find ways to make airsoft fun without even relying on the footage. One of the things that I do, I just go out and play sometimes. I don't even record. Um, and, you know, editing gameplay footage, the more, you know, it's gotten so complicated now that, uh, it's a lot more work than it used to be. Um, and so, and, and of course, too, the, the amount of gameplay or the type of gameplay or how exciting gameplay is, like, you know, if you go out and maybe your guns don't work or maybe you have kind of a mundane day or your team just sucks and you're just getting slaughtered, well, that'll equal bad footage. And then you ultimately don't have a good time because the footage wasn't great. So I definitely think a lot of people, um, you know, if you do footage or gameplay or whatnot, try going and play and that recording. Um, just play. Play to play. Um, and I think every now and then by mixing that in, it'll kind of keep you fresh. Uh, because, you know, you still got to make sure you're having fun. That's the whole point. That's the whole point why we do this. Um... And I think if you do that, um, it'll definitely help. If you were having that kind of burned out kind of feeling, or you know, it's like you know, your fun is your fun is always dictated by the footage. You know, like we we have so many problems with cameras and stuff, like SD cards not formatting, batteries running out. Uh, there's so many things that can go wrong. Uh, so I guess what I'm trying to say is just remember the one thing that can go right. You can have fun while you're playing the game. Uh, and, you know, don't rely on the camera to uh, make it fun. Uh, but yeah, that's the main question. Let me know uh, what you guys think in the comments below. A couple of channel updates. One, uh, just launched Patreon. Um, you know, I love doing really cool, awesome ideas like this World War II short that I'm working on that's in post-production right now. Um, the Jurassic World video, stuff like that. I love doing like one or two shorts a year just to get my creative artistic um, juices flowing. Uh, and then also just create better content videos. Um, the Patreon helps support that. Um, you donate certain levels, uh, you get a patch. Uh, you donate a higher level, the highest tier, you get a patch and a shout out. And I'm trying to find other ways to have better engagement with you guys. Maybe we do like a video game session or something like that where you guys jump in my squad and we play some Battlefield together. Let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, but my Patreon just launched. Uh, also, uh, joined the Breach Bang Clear crew. Uh, so, if you go to the Mad Duo or Breach Bang Clear website, you use the code SPARTAN117GW, you will get a discount. I believe it's 20% discount. Uh, but the Breach Bang Clear guys are really cool guys. I've actually had an interesting history with those dudes, because the first time they discovered me was 
me wearing like like legit stuff for airsoft and uh, they were making fun of me, but then they didn't realize I was in the military too. And they're like, oh my god, we're so sorry. Uh, but yeah, the Breach Bank Clear guys were uh, a really cool bunch of guys. I'm uh, really happy to be on board with them. Also, uh, I actually have a bottle with me on it, uh, or a, I guess a little, yeah, bottle essentially, uh, for a gaming supplement called Force Factor 5. So basically, it's a supplement that basically helps you focus, uh, definitely gets you wired. Um, it's more for gaming for like long periods of time like you do marathon sessions of gaming like let's say you have a LAN party or whatever you're streaming or something like that it's perfect for that and they actually use some really good um, um, flavors and ingredients and stuff like that and that's one of the things I really like about it is that there's actually some really quality uh, stuff in there so make sure you guys check it out there'll be a link for the description in the description and all that below also be sure to check out my website which I'm kind of using as a hub to all my content um, it goes to my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram, all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, so just a couple updates for the channel. Uh, and of course, I just want to propose the main question to you guys and see what you guys think. So thank you guys for watching. This is Spartan117GW, and I'll see you guys next time.